my name is Jasmine. I am a holistic counselor. I'm a writer. I am also a Notion enthusiast. And so what I really want to do today is show you this beautiful, amazing, if I do say so myself, Notion template that I created specifically for people that struggle with being so multi-passionate. Maybe you are a freelancer or an entrepreneur. You, you know, run your own side hustle or your own business, but also really feel like you need to balance uh, all of the creative ideas and processes with uh, just a level of ease and grace, a way to keep all of your goals in mind while also not feeling like you have to hustle constantly um, or have your to-do list constantly in your face in order to make things happen. So I created a template that's specifically to support multi-passionate folks like myself because nothing else out there really worked for me. You know, I've got my little paper to-do list, I've got my planners, but I didn't have something like a, a mental map for everything that I needed to see to keep my big picture vision in mind, but also to help me get through the day-to-day. So I created this template specifically for you, if that describes you. I'm going to share it with you right now. Okay, so here it is. I call this the life dashboard. And the reason why I created this as opposed to, you know, some of the other dashboards that I was seeing and kind of toying around with is because for me, there was nothing out there that really put our goals first and foremost, like our life goals, our life vision first and foremost in Notion. A lot of things were centered around project management, with, which is amazing. This template has that too. A lot of them focused on, you know, just kind of different toggling between different areas of your life. We do that here too, but I wanted to create something that was specifically allowed you to move between the big picture and the the smaller picture quite easily. So I want to give you just a tiny bit of a tour of this. There's a much longer uh, version of this if you want to actually learn how to use this specific strategy and process for goal setting, as well as learning how to use this template. If you already bought this template, that is going to be in the next video, but this is just going to give you kind of a brief overview so that you know what you're getting into. So this has all of your stuff, business, personal, and I call this research, but what I really mean by research is all of the information that you come across, all the tabs that are usually open on your computer, go all in here. And I'll show you that in a second. But this is your homepage. This is your life, your why, your vision, why you're here, what you're doing in the world, up front and center. I always pick a word of the year that goes in here, my core desired feelings, values. If I need a little pick me up, I have my affirmations, compliments that people have given me all right here. Also, if you track your habits, I have a habit tracker and keeping track of all the ticky tacky stuff. I call the ticky tacky stuff like the things that are just perpetually on your to-do list, you know, opening up some of that mail, like organizing something in your house, all those little things. But most of all, first and foremost, I have all of my big picture goals because when you are moving through your to-do list, for me at least, I'll speak for myself, when I'm moving through my big picture to-do list and I don't have my goals in mind, I don't have what is actually important to me in mind, then I am way less motivated to get things done and I don't know how all the pieces fit together. So I teach a very specific goal setting process here. If you don't know off the top of your head what your 10 year, three year and one year goals are, you don't have to, it's totally okay. Don't get overwhelmed. This is just kind of the example here. This isn't mine personally, but I'm just gonna use this as an example to kind of show you that we have our 10 year goals here. These are kind of big picture. Um, I do explain in the next video what, goal types are and goal domains. I have my three-year goals right here with some nice pretty pictures. I understand how all of them kind of build on each other, move on each other. And then I have my one-year personal and business goals here. These are kind of just examples for you, explanations of these goal types. Then as we move down, I've got my quarterly open projects here. I've got, you know, my milestones that are coming up for this month. And I want to say that a lot of Notion templates are super complex, and this might even look complex to you, but I make it really easy because this is not a place where I personally process 
every single one of my to-dos. This is the place where I understand how all of my work fits together. So I only put milestones here. I don't put every single to-do list. I check off when I've completed these kind of bigger picture milestones. And of course, I love to balance you know, a sense of ease and slowness and what's happening in my life activities that kind of keep me mentally well and grounded with some of my business stuff. So you'll see that all over this template that it really merges some of that, you know, personal life, like what actually fuels you with some of your bigger picture goals. Also in this vein of moving through all these spaces, I've got a, a view here that is this quarter. So it shows me all of my open projects for this quarter. Um, let's go into one of these. Let's say one of your projects for this year is creating an online course. I've got it all set up here so that everything is linked. You know which quarters you will be working on this related to which months. You can go in and this is super easy project planning here. I'm not going to go over this too much. I do very much in depth in the next video, but just so you know that you have that all here. Again, a reminder of your goals, why you are choosing these projects, and then ways that you can kind of check off these milestones each month. Also, I'm very inspired by this book called Essentialism. If you haven't read it, you should. It's by Greg McCowan. He's amazing. And again, just this element of, you know, why am I doing what I'm doing? Do I have time for this? This is a checklist right here that is my criteria, and you can use it if you want, or you can make it your own. What criteria does a project have to meet in order for me to make it a priority or even to spend any time on it at all? So again, this whole template is just kind of fitting together what's actually important to you, what actually matters to you, so you don't get stuck feeling like you're making a millimeter of progress in a million different directions. So we've got the quarter view, a monthly view. I want to show you how everything rolls up here. So I'm just going to do January as an example that's already filled in here for you. These are all the milestones that let's say we checked off in January um, or we're working on in January, all the content we created, the books that we were reading, all of your moods. So if you do the habit tracker, you'll see I can track and see my progress on all of these different things. And then I give myself the opportunity to kind of go through and list again, like, what did I learn? What did I improve upon? So you'll see how we're moving through from the big picture to quarterly, to monthly, to weekly. There's a whole weekly plan out here for you. Um, also, if you're someone who gets really caught up on projects and you're like, oh, I can think of this thing and that thing and this thing, there's a lookout shoulder for you, which is just a way to say, okay, I came up with this amazing idea. I woke up in the middle of the night with this idea. I need somewhere to put it, but I know I'm not going to work on it right now because it's not part of my three-year, 10-year, one-year goals. So I need a place to put that. This is where you put that. So we've thought of a lot of different things, ways that you can use this to really, again, just get grounded, get centered in what matters to you, what's important, um, moving from the big picture to the small picture and back again. I used to write my goals on a piece of paper, which is fine. I still like using paper things. I actually still have a paper planner that I use in conjunction with this, but this is just such a helpful view and, you know, a place that I update and work in every single day. It helps just clear my brain in a different way. But I used to write down my goals and my projects in this kind of like clustery web thing. <laughs> the ideas were all over the place, drawing, like trying to draw connections. I knew that they all fit together, but I just didn't know how. And so this, especially in the weekly plan, which you'll see if you get this template, the weekly plan and weekly priorities, that is a way of really whittling it down, understanding what you're supposed to do on a weekly basis to chip away at some of your goals. You see how they all fit together in this nice little path. I know it's not linear. It's never gonna be completely linear, right? But I can't tell you the biggest transition that I made was going from that web of stuff, knowing that it all fits together, but not knowing how to really organizing it into here's what matters to me now. Here's how this builds on my next goal, my next goal, my next goal to really figure out 
what I'm doing over the next couple of years. Um, again, it's not always going to be super straightforward, but I, if you are someone who's so multi-passionate, please get this template. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, this process is something that I've built over the last couple of years that has kept me successful and sane and grounded in so many ways. Even as a business owner and a nonprofit leader, I have been running a business and a nonprofit for the last five years as like the, you know, basically soul person <laughs> trying to figure all this stuff out. And I couldn't have done it without this. So again, if you bought this template, hop on over to the next video where I show you exactly how to use every single thing. Um, I will show you exactly how everything works and how everything rolls up into each other. Um, I'll walk you through exactly how to use it. And if you don't have this template, then you might also want to stick around for the next video also and see how this works because I will be teaching a process of goal setting through it that you might gain some value from. And you don't have to buy the template to use it. You can just use it. Um, but if you want everything put together right here for you, then click that box down in the bottom and check it out and see if it's something that's right for you. Notion is incredible. The free version of Notion is everything. It gives you everything that you could possibly need. So I have it all here for you. If you want it, you can have it. And I will see you in the next walkthrough video.